Welcome to Kid Crew. My toilet won't flush. Um, um, the pipe to the septic tank burst. And now the ground is rumbling. Whoa, I'm having a septic emergency. What a mess. What kind of truck do we need for this? A septic truck, of course. It's got a huge pump with a tank on the back and a pressure washer on the front. Let's get this mess cleaned up. He may even have to replace a broken pipe. It doesn't exactly move along gracefully. Phew, he's already here. Oh, it's still flooding. What a mess. I'll go check it out. Head over to the septic tank, but don't get stuck in that wet ground. I see it popping already. Jump out and inspect. Yep, it's broken. First, he'll clean things up with the pressure washer. Safety glasses on. Then hook up the supply hose. Grab the wand. Insert the high pressure hose and turn it on. Let's rock this grime. Perfect. Let's find out what's wrong. I think you have a broken pipe. He must have seen something when he was pressure washing. He'll dig down to investigate further. That ground is pretty juicy. Yeah, I feel the pipe. <sighs> See that dark flow? That looks suspicious. Let's get a closer look. Yep, there's a broken pipe. Now let's check the septic tank it connects to. Twist off the lid and remove. Ah, it's overflowing. Ew, is that what it's supposed to look like? No, it's overflowing. All right, do you think you could fix that or what do I do? I'll fix it. You're the best. Now grab the suction hose of the septic truck and put it in the tank. This should also help us get to that broken pipe. Turn on the pump and suck away the contents of the tank. They end up in the back of the truck. Okay, now the tank is pumped out and we can see the pipe. There's that hole in the pipe. Remove the broken section. Oh, that does look bad. Look at the inside. Oh my. Now grab a new pipe and install it. This would not be a great time for someone to flush the toilet. Perfect. Now grab the lid and give it a final cleaning. Nice. Does he do cars too? But maybe he would need a different logo on the truck. Put the lid back on the septic tank. And grab the hoe to backfill the trench. Push the dirt and mud back in. Be sure to use your hands for a nice personal touch. Who's afraid of a little dirt? Tamp it down and store the hoses back on the truck. Can I flush my toilet now? Yeah. Mom's on her way to try her toilet again. It worked. Meanwhile, he's going to drive to the sewage treatment plant to empty his tank. Houses in cities don't have septic tanks. They just hook up to treatment plants directly. Back up into position. Then remove the output hose and twist off the tank cap. Yes, do not pour real sewage on the ground. Rest assured, this is just water. Now here's how you can play along at home. This house is being built and it's almost done. Hmm, this isn't working. Oh, that's right. I still need my septic installed. The workers already have a spot ready. Here's the tank. It looks like a submarine. And there's the drain field pipes. Let's get to work. This is a big load for that semi, especially when it's muddy. First, the excavator has a big job to do. It needs to dig a big pit for the septic tank and a trench to the house. Done. 
Now back the semi into position so the excavator can grab the septic tank. Let's install these parts. Unstrap the load. I'm ready. Okay, straight down. The excavator is gently using its bucket to grab the tank and put it into the trench. Now it's time to clear this earth for the septic field. A bulldozer is perfect for this job. First, I'll secure the tank. Backfill the trench. Now clear and flatten the rest of the area. The strong tracks make this a breeze. Okay, perfect, the area is ready. Now we need a huge layer of gravel. In this case, we're using rice. We gotta use it up from the last episode. Drive the tractor and dump trailer into position. These huge tires are great for muddy construction sites. Now lift the tailgate and dump it. Now spread it evenly. Looks good. Bring in the first pipe. This will connect the septic to the house. Now lay all the perforated drain pipes. It's on top of all the gravel. Now he comes with another load to bury it. Dump it out. And spread it nice and even again. Now it gets all covered with dirt. Now use the bulldozer to grade the yard. The only evidence of this huge job is a septic drain cap. I can't wait to use my plumbing. <sighs> now let's learn how it works. This is how a septic system works. First, a pipe connects all the drains in the house to a septic tank. The tank allows the solids to settle, which can later be pumped out by a septic truck. The remaining liquids head out to these perforated pipes, which are surrounded by gravel. Now I'll show you some things about our real septic system. Our septic tank is buried right under here. If you dig up this dirt, the lid's there. And our septic field goes from him to me. So here's the question. You've changed coats three times. Do you think people will notice? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing they will. Yeah, I think they will. That's okay. Do you want me to help? <laughs> yes. I can't tell if you're actually stuck. Oh wow, it is. <laughs> okay, there you go. Look at it. <laughs> what do we got going on here, boys? You can get. I obviously wore the wrong footwear for this. The best way. Haha, <laughs> dad style. Yeah, daddy style. Crocs. And then this is the septic tank. See, so yeah, it even has a green oh, nice. cap. Love it. Yeah, you'll take a shovel. What is that actually? Uh, it's a sprinkler head. So, do you think we're going to use this pump to? clean out our pool this next season? Or is this one forever <laughs> dirty? Get my, I don't know. I don't know. Forever and clean. <laughs> I don't know how you rebound from this. <laughs> I wonder I I, need to wash my I wonder why I can't keep a clean house. <laughs> Look at this. Look at Oh, okay. Well, wait, wait a those. second. But mommy wants to remain as clean as possible. I don't care what you guys do, but <laughs> does that happen? Because the, the plusle built it up too much on the top, and the top was too strong, so the, the top did most. Uh -huh. the pipe did. Too bad this didn't happen in the middle of the summer instead of in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't really how I envisioned my landscaping project to proceed. It always gets worse before it gets better. Okay, now this thing. Mittens. Are you going to be around here when we start spraying the pressure washer? Now he's got muddy paw prints on your seat. Yeah. It's so muddy. You probably <laughs> like the jacket truck. Whoa! I'm having a septic emergency! <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's real good. That's that's good. Can I go inside now? Okay, go stop. I was in, I knew it was gonna fall off. Oh no. 
Thank you for stopping the second you saw it break. Honey, I appreciate that. I stopped it, but I stopped before you even said stop it away. Because I was like, this is gonna fall off. Well, I'm glad you weren't right next to that when it turned on. Sometimes when we're filming episodes, it happens over multiple days. And today is gonna to be one of those situations. We broke this plastic clip on the pressure washer and it's the third thing that we've broken today. So we'll regroup, get the parts we need and then hit it again. And then you'll see when you watch the episode, if you notice where we switch from one day to the other, it's always kind of an interesting thing to look for in the background. Here's a quick tip for the Kittrax Ram. If you're gonna pressure wash the thing, it's good to take the shifter out and pull this relay out to the bottom of that track so it doesn't just take a bath in water. That's kind of a hard part to get. You should probably do the same thing for the pedal, but that one's a lot easier to replace, so I don't worry about it so much. I often wonder, how did this become my life? Thank you for watching Kid Crew. Please like and subscribe.